Hello, I'm Jens Nickel from Elector Magazine and today I'm on the Embedded World 2023. I'm again busy to look for interesting things in all these halls. Again, it's very, very busy, so we are lucky there are a lot of uh, customers for you and a lot of Definitely. interesting things to see. And I'm now at the Arduino booth. Um, this is Marta, is product manager of Arduino. Glad to be here, thanks. Yes. And you have a new board. Exactly. From the Arduino Pro series. Yes. And this, this is the Portenta C33, this one. It's a, a new board of the Portenta family that is already really well known in the market. Yes. And it's like the entry level of the family. Uh, this board has been developed uh, uh, embedding a Renaissance chip, an M33, so it's a little bit less powerful with respect to the STM3287 that we integrate on the Portenta 87, but at the same time it has huge capabilities and it's meeting all the requirements uh, of our customers that are looking for a cost-effective solution in the market. Are there special reasons that you switch to Renaissance? Uh, mainly because we were looking for a solution that it's uh, um, with the M33, so something that it's more user accessible and for all the applications that actually do not need to have dual core because it's not something all the customers are requiring yes. uh, for simple applications, simple control, remote control application, fleet management or simple gateways for instance. Yeah. But I think there are many uh, peripheral units on it, so yeah, it's correct. Powerful. Correct. Can you say something about it? Definitely. So um, this board is actually supporting a lot of peripherals, like for instance, CAN, USB, SPI, I2C, I2S, and last but not least, it has also a um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip, so you can connect to the network, or you can choose to use also the Ethernet connectivity because we have an embedded chip with the Ethernet, and then you can use your custom carrier or one of our carriers with an RJ45 connector and connect with Ethernet as well. Um, all the pins are um, accessible from these uh, castellated pins, if yes. we like. We can mount, for instance, the, the headers directly on it and interface with all the maker family uh, that we already have in the yes. Arduino, Arduino yes. ecosystem, or we can leverage these ones. So the but identity. it's also easy to solder it directly on a board. Yeah, exactly. So. Yes, because it has castellated pins, so you, it's suitable for all the automatic assembly, uh, soldering assembly lines. And uh, at, at the bottom of the board, we have high density connectors, which uh -huh. are really, really, really dense. Okay. Uh, these are 84 pins. Okay. And uh, these are suitable for um, to, to be plugged in any kind of devices. Like for mm -hmm. instance, here, mm -hmm. you can plug it directly on a carrier, on a, um, on a shield, whatever you need for your application. Are there already carrier boards available? Yes. Yes, this board will be completely compatible with our Portenta Breakout, with our okay. Portenta Max Carrier. I see. Yes, and also with our shields. What is the price of the board itself? Uh, the board is going to be 62 euros in the market mm -hmm. and it will be available for purchase mm -hmm. around the end of Q2. Mm -hmm. What are your target customers for this board? Well, we have really many, <laughs> a lot of customers that would be interested in this board uh, in many different uh, market verticals, let's say. So first of all, the, um, the industrial automation world, that is actually what we try to uh, address with this board, because this is really suitable for developing an IoT gateway, for instance. We have, as I was saying, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so all the network side is covered, but we have also CAN, so you can, for instance, manage uh, the interface with some other CAN devices and directly uh, make all the data coming from a CAN device is available on a cloud, for instance, because this board is also compatible with our Arduino cloud. Okay. Yeah. As we know Arduino, I think the libraries are already available for this board. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's compatible with all the ecosystem. So mm -hmm. we have all the libraries that were working on, uh, on the other Arduino boards that will be compatible with this one. The, the Arduino cloud will be compatible with this board as well. So there is no friction in starting this new experience. Yeah. Do you already have demo projects yeah, with we, this board? 
we are we are developing them right now okay. because okay. it's really really new we just okay. uh, launched it yesterday uh, but yes yes we, we are going to have even more in the in the future you will find it on the Arduino website as usual as usual, I mean, you will find also plenty of tutorials showing you how to build uh, your own uh, custom application based on uh, the, the standard Arduino experience that we always try to provide to all our customers. Okay, many thanks, Marta. Thanks to you. It was a pleasure.